breathing in some good old life energy. What's up guys, it's Wes McNair here today. It's a beautiful day. We're here in nature, as always, in the church of life. <laughs> um, today I want to talk about love and why I think doing what you love makes you more successful and a lot happier than anything else you can possibly do in life. First of all, what is love? Um, love, just like everything else in the universe, is an energy vibrating at its own specific frequency. Beauty and love are the same wavelength. They're like the same idea, basically. So when you see beauty in someone, you love them. That's what we call love. That's, uh, that's where you get the falling into love and out of love phenomenon. It's when two people see so much beauty in each other that they connect with each other and they draw energy only from that specific significant other. And after so long, you get these terrible conflicts because they've already drained each other's energy completely dry. So my advice for relationships when it comes to love Maintain connections with other people and the rest of the universe so you don't have those nasty conflicts. Now, with that being said, love is also the energy of God and our higher self, our true self. With that being said, when you access the energy of love, you're also accessing God-like abilities and intelligence. You can, like, um, for instance, um, I think it was Da Vinci, who when he would, uh, no, 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 Aristotle, sorry, when he, whenever he would write, he would say that he would, it would just be like a constant stream of information coming from somewhere else, coming from inside of him. And he could just relay it onto paper. And the same thing was true for Beethoven. Beethoven would hear all of his symphonies and he would know all of them before he hit the first key. That's access to God-like information because those people were doing what they loved, okay? So not only does doing what you love bring peace to your heart and love to your heart and other people, but the universe is gonna align for you. You're gonna have access to all different types of intuition to help you make decisions and you're gonna have insights you're gonna have all these amazing epiphanies once you start doing what you love. The problem with trying to do what you love is so many people aren't that whenever you try to do something like that, they instantly try to shut you down. And when it comes to ideas and manifestation, when you're trying to create a specific idea with zeros here and ones here, and you're around someone else who doesn't believe in your idea, they're literally putting a one where the zero should be or a zero where the one should be. You know what I mean? They're not helping you create that idea in the, in the manifestation of the super consciousness or God. So, why to do what you love? It'll make your day better, it'll make your life better, and you'll be much more successful. Think about it like this. If, uh, if everyone just did what they loved every day, rather than waking up and going to work. Like imagine if you were a kid and you woke up every day and you just liked playing basketball. So you woke up every day and just played basketball and uh, you're not gonna need college. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna wake up every day and get so good at basketball that as soon as you're done with high school, you're gonna be, you're gonna be drafted towards the NBA. You know, so if we just did what we loved, we'd all get so good at it, we'd be professional. And we could use it to make money and to survive. I fully believe that. That's why I'm here on camera today. That's why Timothy Westbrook makes music. Because we're both trying to do what we love. And we've seen the results. The universe is coming together. And everything's happening exactly the way we, we thought it would. I really like something that I heard said by Infinite Waters. Who you, you might have heard of. If not, I definitely recommend checking out Infinite Waters on YouTube. God and Jesus even said, Jesus said that we could 
we have even greater abilities than him, that we can do even greater things than the things that he did with the energy of love. Because the energy, he used love and his high vibrations to cure diseases, to cure ailments, cerebral palsy, all kinds of, like Down syndrome and all kinds of debilitating diseases and blindness. He, he cured all of these things with positive energy because every disease or illness, every tumor or infection is a low vibration. So if you match that with a much higher vibration, it instantaneously cures the ailment. That's how Jesus could walk up and touch someone and heal them instantly. That's the science behind that. And again, Jesus said, we can do even greater things than he did. So the fact that we basically been told since we were children that psychic abilities and the third eye is an evil thing, that's, that's just what we've been led to believe, guys. Um, these abilities like telepathy and telekinesis, they're all things that we can develop over time with a lot of discipline and meditation. But the energy of love is a part of that, and once you access it, not only do you get that intelligence, but you can, you can access those abilities much quicker. Also, I wanted to mention something about Dr. Emoto, who did what's called the rice experiment. He's famous for it. He takes uh, it's experiments with water. You take water and rice, he got three jars, labeled one bad, one good, and didn't label the other one. Talked positively and nicely to the one labeled good, said, I love you, you're beautiful. The one that said bad, um, he said, you're ugly, I hate you. And then the one he left blank, he didn't talk to at all. So what happened at the end was the one he talked positively to fermented, creating a nice aroma. It was like a nice caramel looking color. And the one he talked negatively to got black and it fermented and had a, a bad aroma, didn't smell good. And the one he didn't talk to at all grew heaping amounts of black mold. It was disgusting. So that really gives you an implication about what, how, how we're affecting each other with our energies and with what we say and think. Our bodies are made of 85% water whenever hydrated correctly. So if you can program water just by talking to it, positively or negatively, think about how we're affecting each other. It's detrimental. I highly suggest looking at Dr. Emoto, looking at his experiments uh, when he freezes water, how it, how it changes into beautiful structures if, he, if he's um, giving it positive influence and <laughs> and when it becomes negative influence it freezes in a ugly ugly pattern <laughs> I highly suggest checking that out um, but I think that's, and another thing that I heard infinite water say was that we feel our emotions in our body so if you think about it we feel our emotions inside of our water because our body is 85% water. So we're feeling our emotions inside of our water. So we can, water has memory. And if we can say something nice to someone like, I love you, and it will instantaneously change the structure of their body, it will also instantaneously change their emotion. Goes together hand in hand. Oh, and um, <clears throat> if you've heard of the law of attraction, or read anything by Wayne Dyer. Um, whatever energy we put off is what we attract. There's no one, there's no guy up in the sky in a golden city who's blessing you or who's disciplining you when you make him happy or when you upset him. It's not how it works. The universe or God, your higher self, simply sees your emotions and your energy as a request and then matches that emotion with an experience to recreate that emotion. So if you're feeling, if you're thinking to yourself, I hate my job, then the universe thinks, you hate your job. Wesley hates his job. So he's gonna send an experience my way to make sure I keep feeling like that because the universe doesn't care <laughs> if we want to feel good or bad. The universe thinks it thinks that we know what we want. So we need to wake up, clean up our minds a little bit and our emotions and program our thoughts in a different way so we can start attracting more positive experiences. So in doing what you love, if you're sitting here <laughs> 
Like uh, right now, I love making videos and I love spreading knowledge like this. So I'm sitting here experiencing such a high vibration with this moment right now and excitement and love and everything right now. And the universe is feeling it. Everything creates a ripple effect in the universe. So the universe is feeling my love right now and it's gonna say, okay, that's what you want. And it's gonna send it right back to me in a, in a different way. Probably me recording another video. But that's how it works. That's how the law of attraction works. So by doing what you love, you're going to attract more success and more happiness into your life. It is proven by studies. Research successful people, research anyone who knows anything about spirituality, and they'll tell you the same thing. I highly suggest reading Wishes Fulfilled by Wayne Dyer. He's a genius. Also, um, you've probably heard this before. If you talk nicely to plants, they will actually grow faster, bigger, and they will live much longer. And if you wouldn't feed something to your plants, to your trees, don't feed it to your children. <laughs> like, you wouldn't, you wouldn't water a tree with Coca-Cola because it kills it. Your body is a living organism made out of the same things as this tree right here. So if you wouldn't, if you wouldn't, want to kill your tree with some coca-cola don't kill yourself or your children with some coca-cola <laughs> so uh, much love guys namaste do what you love